I guess that's good enough. Wait, hold on, wait. Let me go to the thing to something else. Oh, but yeah. What is up everybody? It is your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video today. Um, sorry if you hear my dang fan in the background when the heater in the background is cold as fuck in this room and yeah i ain't about to freeze trying to make a video for you guys so with that being said just ignore that today we're going to take talk about this travis scott beat that i just released on my youtube if you want to check it out just go to youtube it's like the newest beat and also you can go to my website missiondifferenttv.com go to the beat section and you can check out my beats there and also check out my new sounds and all that too so today i'm gonna show you guys how i made this travis scott beat it's a very simple type travis scott beat i didn't try to go for no crazy complex doing crazy transitions and stuff like that y'all know me i'm a very simple per uh, beat maker not really uh you know i don't like to do crazy stuff with my beats that's, that's just my style of making beats so you know everybody has their own unique style and i'm just a more simplistic type of beat maker so you know that's just me and my style so you know just rock with it or you know don't i don't really care um i do care but anyway so let's just talk about this beat real quick we're just gonna go through each individual part show you guys what i did as usual and you know just talk about it so first off we're gonna start off with this first sound which is an analog lab it is the uh it's a string called berlin school um also i want to say shout out to arturia because arturia is actually hooking me up later this week so i will be having a sponsored video by arturia and i can't wait to do that for you guys so yeah it's gonna be pretty chill so but anyway y'all just had to catch that around we're out thursday friday this weekend where i have my video but yeah just a sound called barrel strings it's basically like a little kind of i want to say like a synth string sound that's what it sounds like with no effects so just a basic old school type of um analog string sound what i did is i added some gross beats to it and i actually didn't do no i did half speed so y'all know the usual bruh me no no undetached that because i had on my other monitor um i had gross beats got it set to not really half speed it's a little bit above half speed which is you know different so half speed would be if you had it right here see the two i got it on the one so just give it like a different feel and then i have a side chain to it but i did a custom side chain and i raised it up to where it just kind of side chains in and out you know because usually when you have side chain on it looks like this that's where it looks but i actually just brought the curve upwards you know so that's what i did and it gives you this sound right here so it has that little has that has that has that nice little pumping effect and also has like a kind of you could tell it's a little slow down a little bit not too much because with has with uh if i brought it down to half speed it'll sound completely different Which, you know, it just depends on what sound you're going for, but either one didn't matter, so, you know. I, I like the more higher pitch sound, so that's just me. And I added in a EQ2, and I cut the lows and the highs to kind of focus in only in the mid frequencies. You know, 
gonna give kind of that super filtered effect. So you know, that's just what I did, and it worked for me. So that's that. Um, so yeah, pretty easy. Next up, we go to Omnisphere. If Omnisphere wants to open up, it's gonna take about five years. Y'all know how Omnisphere works. Need to get a new SSD for it. Anyway, um, Omnisphere. I uh, actually created the sound through Omnisphere. I uh, went through the samples and all that and just kind of tweaked some of the sounds. So I picked just a regular choir sound, um, made this sound. I might, I might make an Omnisphere preset bank. If you guys want me to do that, let, let me know in the comments below, and I would definitely make an Omnisphere. I got some new preset banks coming on the line. Omnisphere could be one of them if you guys want that. So once I put that on there, I put gross beats on the Omnisphere. Well, this is what it sounds like without any effects first, so you can hear it. Has that nice little rising kind of swelling effect, which is nice. Once you throw that gross beats on there, half speed it and side chain it just like this time it's actually half speed and side chain the same way as the first one, but actually it's on half speed. So then I added some EQ too. Same thing, cut some just a little bit of the highs and the lows to kind of filter it out. simple there then i added in a fruity love filter and set to the uh the twinkle preset just to give it a little bit of you know i guess a little bit of like interest or look make it just sound better or different um uh, i love love filter um I, if i use you see i use twinkle or i use the pan man which does the same effect which pretty much makes it move through the left and right speaker so just up to you on that so It also has like a nice little gating effect too, so that sounds a lot better than just. Has a little more interest to it. Um, next up is Electra X2, which is my new VST, which I don't know how I've lived without this VST. Like I've been wait, I've been, you know, debating on getting it. And I just went ahead and got it. And you know, it's amazing. That's how I'm gonna say. Um, and also, this is a current. This is a current um, patch that I'm working on for my new my preset bank, my Electra X2 preset bank that me and D Mac the King are working on at the moment. Um, this is just one of the presets. Like I said, I got a few presets in here already. Um, this is just one of them, so you'll get a sneak peek right here. So I made this little ARP sound straight from Electra X, no extra effects or anything. Just what it sounds like. Oh, that's not an ARP sound, damn. The ARP is in another video. Sorry, I'm thinking of him. So, but I made this pluck sound. Sorry. This pluck sound straight through Electric X. So just a little pluck. In my next video, I will show you guys the ARP I made in Electric X. So, but yeah, that's the little pluck sound I added. Like I said, I added no extra effects because uh, Electric X has everything built into it, like the reverb and everything dope as fuck so really just made the sound added my effects and boom so be on lookout let your H preset coming out soon next up is piano v which is my favorite piano plugin of right now like i said i don't have i don't have keyscape i don't own it i don't have the money to get it right now why well, i got the money to get it. i just too lazy to buy it but i love arturia stuff and shout to arturia like oh, i always say they sponsor me with stuff and like i said i have a sponsored video coming this week um so yeah um i just use the piano v um dope ass piano sounds a bunch of pianos i'll probably do a, re a review of you one guys want to know it's worth it but anyway this is the piano sound by itself just a simple little piano notes i'll show you the chord so so very repetitive um very repetitive very simple because that's where i wanted to keep this beat want to keep it kind of repetitive simple but you know give us some interest by doing weird stuff to the sounds so I added gross beats to it, and I actually used the reverse preset. You can use a reverse preset, or you can just take the um, the point and drag it all the way down, and that's pretty much going to reverse your sound. It's going to completely reverse your sound, and you get this effect. Which is pretty dope. That's why I love gross beats. Gross beats probably one of the best plugins ever made. Image Line did right with gross beats. Um, then I add some love filter. Put on the twinkle preset like always because it's different so you get this kind of gating kind of moving effect it 
Then I added a pan man to make it go back and forth through the left and right speakers. And boom, you have this. It just moves around your head a little bit faster, which is pretty cool. So once you add in all the main melody sounds, you get this. Pretty dope. Now let's get into the percussive sounds because that's what you guys want to see. So start off with the kick drum, just a standard kick drum. I don't think I processed it. I think I did a little EQ to it. Just cut a little bit of lows, but. That's just a good example of a good kick sample, you know, process right. This sounds really dope and sounds really good. I like that. Didn't need to do no extra uh, compression or anything like that. Added in a simple little snare. I didn't know processing there. A lot of people ask me what I did with the snare, and that's really just it's just a plain snare. Like that's it, just a snare. It's like a clap mixed with a it's a clap mixed with a snare sound. And that's all it is, and it just sounds nice and punchy. Then we got the hi-hats. Simple hi-hats. A little bit of EQ on them, you know, to cut just a little bit of the highs, you know, just a little bit. I felt like it had too much of that upper frequency that was just like too ear piercing. I didn't like that. One of my favorite goddamn uh, goddamn hi hats, which is the flick. It's just that simple, dope, simple, easy, low pitch down uh, hi hat. You can do with anything. You just pitch it down. And you got the same type of sound. So any hi hat, you just pitch it down. But this one has that nice fullness to it. So I use it all the time. It's one of my go tos. Like I said, don't sit there and try to. If you don't, if you can't make your own samples. Find the best sample packs you can definitely buy. Like I said, go to my website, go to these other people, you know, buy the best samples you can and just use them and just fuck with them. I mean, sometimes, you know, don't waste your time, you know, going out and getting the goddamn fucking Congo drum and shit like that and getting your microphone and banging it and sampling it out and then you, know, you ain't got time for that. Let other people do it so you can get back to making, you know, that's what I do. I'll get a bunch of kick drums and stuff like that, process them my way and make them my own, you know, just do what you gotta do got another hi-hat right here which is called groove and it has a delay on it as you can see i have my little delay built inside the wrapper um just a simple delay set to about i think it's at two and it's a little bit of feedback and it just had that kind of it's gonna have that it's gonna have that kind of bounce to it so just if you listen to it that's why i like using delay on my hi-hats because with delay and hi-hats you get that kind of that ambient bounce. You get that that bounce and instead of having to program yourself, just add a little delay to it, and that's it. Just have a short delay, and you have that kind of bounce. With that, if you want to get them live sounding hi hats, that's a good way to do it right there. Just add a little delay to your hi hats, and boom, you get it. And then I use Boom Serum for the 808 808 Nebula. Like I said you can go to my website, MrDiffTV.com, and purchase the Greatest Hit Bundle, and it comes with the all of these sounds and like five other it's come like five other kits full of like over 50 sounds a piece so you get like shit ton of sounds for like low price you know just because you guys are cool like that anyway day the ways like this that travis scott sounding you know wonder girl travis scott sounding type of 808 little decapitator on the knee preset set to about three to the drive and about 80 or 70 or that's about 60 on the mixed wet. And that's all you need right there. And then just give that without it sound. It still sounds good without it, but with that distortion. It's had that extra, you know, dirty analog sounding grit, I guess you can say. So, you know, any distortion word, you use Fruity Fresh distortion. You can use goddamn Supercharger GT. You can use Driver. I mean, there's so many type of distortion plugins you can use out there. Um, this is just one of my favorites, the cavitator. So, and then when I add in all my percussion sounds, you get that dope ass bounce. And that just that, 
that's a beat right there. Like if you can make that part, the percussive sounds, the rest is easy. People, a lot of people, you don't understand that. You know, I started like I made the beat with just this and made the like. With all my beats, I make one melody, and then I make all my percussive sounds, and I just add upon that, and that's how my beat came about. Like I, I came up with this one sound right here. And I said, fuck it, I'm about to make the percussions real quick. And then. That's the beat right there. The beat's done. At that point, just adding these three extra stuff. And then you got the full sounding beat. So beat making for me, like I said, I'm simple when it comes to my beat making. I don't, I don't overcomplicate it. I make it simple as fuck. Um, but in the beat, as you can see, I have a glitch two right here. So we go to here. I have glitch two set to the tape stop effect. So when we play it, I don't know the, the automation acting fucking stupid. Let's see, start at initial position. Whatever. My automation is acting retarded right now. You know how gross beats it. That's what I'm supposed to do. It doesn't in the beat, so <laughs> but I'll fix that later. Um, and then we have a love filter right here, which is set to the I would guess you call it the Drake underwater effect or the Simple triangle low pass LFO, which is that. You know, that's what I love about that effect that is it's built in FL Studio. Like you can do it with an EQ by automating your EQ, but you know, ain't nobody got time for that. We just go to love filter, simple triangle LFO. Yeah, the Drake underwater effect. Just what I say, what one thing I always do is I turn down my resonance. Cause if you don't turn your resonance down, it's gonna sound annoying. That's what I'm gonna say. And then last, last I just added a little pro L, which I have a video coming up about uh, understanding limiters. So I would have that video up, but I just have a pro L on it because like I said, my mastering techniques now are simpler than they used to be. I used to do some crazy bus compression and did blah 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 now I just keep it simple because like i said nowadays rappers ain't got time for that let's say because when a rapper buys the beat they're going to ask for the track outs anyway if, a, if they're serious about it and then the engineer that records their shit is going to you know do crazy stuff to it anyway so i just throw a limiter on it give it to the rapper put it out there and let the artist do what they want to do with it you know what i'm saying that's how i do it that's me so yeah simple beats travis scott type beat very simple um nothing special to it and that's how you make it. That's how, that's how I did it. That's my style. That's how I did it. Hope you guys learned something from this. Like always, um, if I get a good bit of likes, I might put out the FLP. Like if I get like over 200 likes or 300 likes, I might put out the FLP for you guys. Um, just see how much love you're showing. Like I said, let me know what you guys want to see in the future. Like I said, up and coming Electric X Bank. Uh, if you want me to make an Omnisphere Bank, I'll do that. Got Serum and Sound coming out, more drum kits, stuff like that. I also have a sponsored video coming out later this week. So y'all know what it is. Your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different, not motivated by money. But like, comment, subscribe, and views. Appreciate you guys for stopping by with this video. Hope you learned something. And guess what? I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.